You know, this word accountability is kind of an interesting word. When I started telling people that I was going to work on a book about accountability, I got all sorts of reactions. Some people thought it was great. There's just a lot of people out there that think we need a lot more accountability in our culture today. And then there are people that said, man, you're crazy. Don't talk about accountability. Everybody hates that word. I mean, it's like punishment. That's what comes to their mind when you say the word accountability. So what I realized, we have this really love-hate relationship with accountability. Now, I grew up in an environment where there was always accountability, so I kind of feel good about the word. I understand that sometimes it's confining to me. I mean, I had accountability writing the book. Uh, Kevin kept me on task and we had deadlines and it was hard. But you know what? That accountability really helped me get to where I wanted to be. It helped me to come through and do what I was committed to myself and others to do. So I value accountability. I can see how it can be confining and I can see how people might think it's a little negative at times. But because we've taken such a positive approach in this book and in our in my life, I've tried to take a positive approach about accountability and to see how it can help me get where I want to go and how I can use accountability to help get things done and help other people grow and achieve their goals. So I think it's very important to have a positive mindset. Now, that can be hard though. I ask one person, you know, what, what do you think about accountability? What comes to your mind first? And they said, well, it's kind of negative, a little bit of fear because I don't know what my boss is expecting me to do and he may have expectations that he hasn't told me about and you know I don't want to get punished for something that I didn't even know was coming. So there is some legitimate fear out there. But what we want honorable leaders to do is to own this whole process, the courageous accountability process, to make it a positive thing from start to finish. That will help us to overcome the fear of accountability. It will also help us overcome the laziness that we all have. I mean, the truth is we all have some laziness and we're also very busy. We have a lot of things we're going on, that are going on in our lives that we're trying to do. And so being accountable, it's like it's hanging there waiting, waiting for us and we know we have to do it. So as we think about it, I want to encourage you to think about a positive mindset about accountability and to take that approach every time. Now to do that, it's going to require some real involvement by you, the leader. One, you're going to have to be accountable yourself. So you're going to have to work at it. You're going to have to be authentic in that when you're not going to meet your deadlines or keep your promises, you're going to have to speak up and let somebody know that you're struggling with accountability. That's okay. We all do struggle with it from time to time. But mostly you're going to have to work with your people and help them develop by following this model of clarifying and by connecting and by collaborating and then hopefully celebrating. And a few times you'll have to confront. And when you take that positive approach of believing in people and helping them be accountable, working with them in that way, you're gonna find it's a really a great process. It's really uh, a wonderful thing, accountability is, and that you can change its image out there in your organization when you build that uh, courageous culture of accountability. So I wanna challenge you, leaders go first. You have to have a positive attitude. You have to hold yourself accountable and you follow this model and you're gonna find out it really works and that you will building a culture of accountability and everyone will benefit. The individual will benefit, you the leader will benefit, the team will benefit, and the organization will benefit. That's a four way win. I see accountability as being such a positive thing and I hope that you will grab a hold of this model and kind of get yourself uh, focused in the right direction and go walk through it. And then let us know how it works for you. We'd love to hear about it.